everybody, it's your girl China Renee, and I'm here with my mother-in-law. This is Maji. Hi. Hey, you guys. So today we are going to bring you something a little fun, something that we both actually really, really enjoy, and that's shoes. And a lot of you guys absolutely love shoe hauls and shoe reviews, but we want to just bring you something a little bit different. We are going to review some shoes shortly, but we both just absolutely share the love of shoes. I love shoes, she loves shoes. I think that's something that both of my moms have in common. My mom and my mother-in-law, they're both shoe lovers and yeah, probably got over about 250 pairs of shoes. No, I probably got over 500 plus because I got a serious shoe fetish. God, 500 pairs of shoes? Mm -hmm. I probably right now have probably 75 pairs of shoes that I've never even put on my feet that are in the box. Oh my gosh. And that, you know what? I love shoes so much that I, sometimes I duplicate. I buy the same shoe because I forgot I had it. In a different color or the? Sometimes same damn color. You know, I ain't that <laughs> shit. I can't keep it together like that. Now that's bad. You're buying the same shoe in the same color sometimes and haven't even worn them yet. Well, I, it's true. I do. Sometimes I do. I forget I have them. When did you develop your shoe fetish? When did you realize you had a shoe problem? Um, Probably when I was about 18. That's a long damn time ago. Don't call him and ask how old I am and none of your damn business, okay? Mind your business, okay? So you've been collecting shoes ever since then? Yeah, but I mean, I don't keep the same shoe. I give shoes away, mm -hmm. but you know, not too many people wear the same size shoe that I do because I have a small foot. Oh, I have yeah. what is really a lady's foot. You know, the average size shoe for a lady is a seven and a half. Average for who? Uh, average lady. <laughs> we ain't talking about no damn Amazon type chicks. You know? I'm wearing eight. That, I said average is like yeah. seven and a half. That's like average size. Now, when you get to wear, now I wear a five and a half or a six. That's so that's tiny. a dainty foot. I got a dainty lady foot. How do you find high heels in a five and a half? Oh, they got them, girl. They oh got my them. God. You see all them shoes they got? They got, they got them. But now, when you get to the point where you rocking a 10, 11, 12, mm. like the queens. Well, I'm telling you, it's some queens that's real queens that's got JJ's and they're rocking them big ass shoes. I mean, I guess it just depends because if you got the height to go along with it, it's okay. But see, I'm vertically challenged, so I look really crazy if I oh, had wow. a size 10. See, but I wear eight, so I think that's average. But yeah, I've been collecting shoes for quite some time. My collection started, I say, when I was about 15 or 16. Started with Jordans and Timberlands. You probably wouldn't believe it, but I had every Jordan that was out, every pair of Timberland boots that was out. And then, of course, I progressed into heels. So now I have a ton of high heels and I'm the same way. I got shoes I haven't even put on my feet yet, but. Well, you know, to me, shoes are like a car. And cars, even if it's a hoopty, you mm -hmm. put some good wheels on it and you still gonna get the side out. People gonna be looking at you like, oh, that's hot. So with my shoes, my shoes are just sexy. So I call my shoes my sexy. I cute. love to rock me a shoe. It doesn't matter what you got on, as long as you got on a, I ain't gonna say it don't matter what you got on, cause some of y'all <laughs> gonna take that and go too damn far with it. I don't mean it like that. But what I'm saying is, even when you having a bad day, a pair of shoes can pick you up. I sit up at night and just order shoes. It's better than sex, actually. Hmm. I don't know about that part, but. <laughs> I do like to sit up at night and order shoes myself. It does make you feel some kind of way. Like, you can get an orgasm from holding a pair of shoes. I mean, shoes. yeah, that's what they call a shoegasm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's what they call shoe porn and shoegasms. Yes, if you guys are not hip to that, just hashtag shoegasms and you probably will see some bad ass shoes on the internet. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get into some shoes that we actually got, some shoes that my mother in law got for me for Christmas this year. Um, well, actually, it's last year because this is 2015 now. But okay, so enough of talking about that. We are actually going to get on to today's feature, which is Miss Tamar Braxton. You guys know Mrs. Um, she did that, get your life, all of that. Tamar Braxton recently released her clothing line and her shoe collection. And when I first checked out the clothing line, I was like, okay, this stuff is really cute. The pieces are cute. I actually saw it on her TV show, Tamar and Benz when she was developing it. And she also has a shoe collection. And when I looked at the shoes, I was like, okay, yeah, the shoes are hot. So my mother-in-law surprised me and she ordered me something for Christmas. That's cause you hard to shop for. She got every damn thing. So you have to think, you know, when you buy something for the China doll, I call her China doll. Don't know y'all right in here call her China doll. That's my name for her is a China doll. Anyway, I was trying to figure out what do I get the China doll? Cause last year is when I got you the Simone Lollipop. Right? Yes. So I always try to give her something that's unique that she doesn't have, and which is hard because she has such a collection. But I knew she's a great fan of Tamar and I know she loves a shoe. So you know, you can't give shoes to somebody that doesn't love shoes. Because one thing that pisses me off is to give a shoe to somebody and they don't even know what to do with it. Right. There's a person that comes to mind that will keep that shit to myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, I decided that that would be the perfect gift for her because she's a great fan and she loves the show. So we're gonna get right into these shoes from the Tamar collection. And um, first ones, we're gonna start, well, actually she ordered a few pairs. Yeah, I actually ordered three, only two of them came and I've got another one that we're gonna talk about that later. Oh man, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna get into these two first. So here's the packaging, really, really nice packaging. Comes in a really pretty uh, red box. The nude color Tamar right on the front. It's a sturdy box too. It is. It's, it's a, a good box. It's a nice, nice box. Good job on that. Packaging is beautiful. So just in opening it up, you do get your dust bag. And that's classy. Love it. And mine came wrapped in some pink paper. And here is the shoe that she ordered for me. Shoe is hot. She was really hot, actually. She got good taste. Yes, yeah, she does. Don't you wish I was your mother? Girl, <laughs> I ain't. So I ain't buying your shit. <laughs> okay, so these are the snakeskin ankle strap pumps. Has a little platform here, and it hangs right over the toe there. It's a pointed toe. And it has like these embellished straps right here on the ankle, four straps. It's leather. And the quality on this shoe is absolutely amazing. It feels great. It feels like a really high-end heel. It doesn't feel like a cheap heel. You can tell they really spent time into making them. And just on the soles here, you can see where she has her logo, which is her name, Tamar, right down the back of the sole. And it either it even has this rubber sole here so to keep you as a slip guard to keep you from sliding around. No <laughs> slip and slide. Woo, okay. So what were your thoughts on these? Okay, um, as a person who is a shoe connoisseur as I am, I do own the high-end shoes as well. It is quite obvious to me that Tamar owns a lot of high-end shoes because she really did not skimp on the details. First of all, the shipping box itself has Tamar tape on it with her name in gold. Her logo <laughs> is all over that, so when you get the box, you're like, okay, okay, my Tamar shit is here. And then the shoe itself, you see like she said, it has the inverted platform on it, which is very nice. And a lot of times when they do this type of print, it's not smooth to the hand. This is very smooth to the hand. It's something else I really like about it. Since the red soles are already taken, she couldn't do that. How she showed you how she does this. Now, something she did that I'm going to criticize. Uh, why you got to put the people's shoe size on the shoe table? Oh, yeah. Some people don't want everybody to know what size shoe they wear, especially the queen queens, you know? True. They rocking a 12. They don't want everybody to know that. I agree. Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of women don't want people to know their shoe size. Now, me, I really don't care because I have a dainty foot. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I really like about it is the red insole with her name on it, Tamar. That's very nice and it's nice and smooth as well. And then on the inside where the zipper is, she actually has the flap lays down flat. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you get shoes to zip up the back and the flap on the inside does not lay down flat like this. So she really did not skimp on the details at all and I really appreciate that. She really went out of her way to make an affordable product yes. uh, that looks very high end. Very high end. Yeah, you can tell it's something that she would wear herself, which is something I appreciate. Don't be selling something that you're not going to put on yourself because, you know, it just makes you look a little bit off. You can tell she really spent a lot of time in the quality of this shoe absolutely gorgeous everything about it and you guys know i'm a five and a half to six inch heel so yeah that's perfect for me might get a little bit tall for some folks but that is absolutely perfect for me and the shoes they just feel great they feel really really good i'm gonna do a try on for you shortly and again you have your dust bags for me like i don't really keep shoe boxes so this is perfect i'll just throw my shoes right in the dust bag and put them up in the closet somewhere or probably in the overflow. Now just because it's called a dust bag, it don't mean dust your damn furniture with it. Oh, please don't dust your furniture with it. For those of you, for those of you are ignorant, not ignorant, ignorant, and you, you don't you, know any better. You throw your shoes in there, and then of course, that's perfect for traveling too. If you're doing a lot of traveling, throw that right in your suitcase, keep your shoes from getting all messed up, okay? I got a sidebar though. Now she rocks these five and a half and six inch heels, and she rocks them well. Ladies. If you don't know how to walk in them high heels, do not put them on because ain't nothing worse than looking like a damn sharecropper going to fix some fucking pot <laughs> and some damn shoes are too high for your feet. And especially when you got big feet, that's the worst thing you can be doing is putting on some high heels and can't walk in it and be trying to look sexy and you looking awkward than a motherfucker. Wobbling like a deer fresh yeah. out the womb, legs be all buckling. Yeah, and, and you, you, got to and you see the here. guys looking at you and you think they checking for you. No, them motherfuckers is laughing at your ass and talking amongst themselves. There's, there's tutorials on how to walk heels 
you just uh, throw them on and you practice a heel this high, especially if it, it doesn't have a high platform, like this doesn't really have a platform, you gotta practice in these because you will bust your butt if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. And, if, and if you can't walk in them, sometimes you just need to practice sitting your ass down because you can be real <laughs> too with your sexies on your feet and just keeping a seat. I and like as Tamar that. would say, have several seats. Have several seats. Okay, so we like these. And again, these are the um, ankle strap snakeskin pumps. And uh, those are hot. So let's move on to the next one. Now, as I stated, I ordered two pair of shoes, but for some reason. Three. Three with yours. I'm talking about for myself. Oh, uh -huh, I'm uh -huh. gonna leave me right now. Uh, but I did order myself two pair, but for some reason I only got one pair. I don't know what the other one is. We're gonna talk about that later. I don't want to sidetrack on that. But again, here are my shoes. And what I got was called the Allegra Red Suede Booties. Ain't nothing sexier than a booty. And again, the same type of dust bag in here. Okay. <laughs> Help me out here, unwrap it, child. Unwrap it. And okay, you know so she puts pink paper. Yeah, the pink paper in there is really cute. And uh, bam. Now, check those out. Is that sexy? That oh, is so hot. sexy. And you know, this is perfect for a little person like myself who's got some nice legs. I got some real shapely legs, no, okay? Cute. My legs is, and they in there. But what I really like about this, this shoe is made so well and it has all the same great detailing that China Dolls had with the pull on the zipper. Mm -hmm. But what really, really, really got me about this is I buy a lot of the corset booties. I love them. I have quite a collection in every color, every print you can sort of think of. These are the first pair that I have got of these corset style booties that the eye for the string is inside. It's hidden. That's so cute. Isn't that cool? It's a hidden eye. It takes some, and it does zip up the back, so you don't have to really unlace the shoe to get it on, or however you might want to loosen it just a little bit. You're gonna have to do some, yeah. You yeah. have to do some maneuvering so to get in this shoe. Unless you got a super skinny shoe. foot, you have to do some maneuvering to get in this shoe. But as you can see, if we can pull it a little, you see the eye is on the inside, mm -hmm. and you don't see the eye visible from the outside. Now that is definitely high end. That is definitely couture. For those of you who do not know, yes, we will be educating you today, tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> all other days too. But this shoe is super sexy. I mean, just, you know, looking at this shoe, I'm getting, you know, a little turned on right now. What's up? Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to rock these. These are some true sexy shoes. These are some true sexy here. Yeah. yeah, these are hot. This is actually the first shoe that I saw when she introduced her collection. This was the very first shoe that I saw on um, the Tamar shoe collection. And this is what made me go into looking at the rest of them. And I was like, okay, she really did her thing with the shoes. It's on point. My favorite part about these is the heel. Acrylic shiny heel back here. It's just real sexy. Just a nice little detail to a red suede booty. She did that. Yes, I absolutely love them. She did Real that. suede. They yeah. feel really good. And um, this is the kind of shoe that you just wear on a night when you're not trying to get your shoes messed up. You know, you're just out being cute. You just... You could just you put these jokers on with some lingerie and walk around the house. I agree. Do you agree? I agree. Those oh, and something dope. else I want to mention about these shoes. These are limited edition, so if you're feeling these, you better hurry up and get them. And they come in another color, don't they? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are only in red. red. Oh, mm -hmm. that's hot. Okay, so let's get into the good, the bad, and the ugly about these shoes from the Tamar collection. The good for me is that the shoes are actually really high end, very high quality. I really like the style of them and the way that they're made. The bad for me, well, I really don't have a bad, but you might. I really can't complain because I didn't, you know, order them. They were a gift, so that's a part of the good for me. I really don't have a bad on this shoe. Honestly, I haven't found one yet, but what about you? Uh, well, before we get into the bad, let's talk about the ugly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the ugly, y'all think I'm going to say something bad, don't y'all? The ugly is you got to love yourself, U-G-L-Y. Ugly. I <laughs> have <laughs> fooled you. Okay, but now, uh, uh, mm. <laughs> I got to tell you the T. Now. I ordered these shoes. One was a Christmas gift for her. One was a, a present for myself to wear New Year's Eve. And the other one was a pair of shoes that I was going to rock when I went to the Tamar concert. Okay. Okay. So I did overnight shipping on my shoes. I paid extra for that so that I would have these shoes in time to do everything I wanted to do. All of them? Yeah. There were supposed to be three pair of shoes. There are only two. As I mentioned, I don't know where my third pair of shoes is. Uh, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> I, I don't know where the hell they at right now. So, 
I ordered these three pair of shoes and I was bouncing around here like a chess cat with a secret trying not to tell trying to what I got for because I really <laughs> want to share because honey when I get some good shoes whoo, baby I have a very hard time keeping it to myself so anyway as it turned out I ended up having to tell her because the damn shoes didn't get here in time so but here's here's where I, I got a problem with when I order some when I spend my coin as Tamar says when you spend your coin you want your shit right so I shouldn't be saying shit. Okay, I'm gonna say you can I'm, say shit. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Anyway, so I ordered these shoes the day before Christmas. I'm like, where are my shoes? So I go online trying to find the customer service number, which I had seen when I initially ordered the shoes. There was a customer service number. It was a customer service number, which was 773 Erico, which is Chicago. Okay, it's <laughs> an Illinois area code. I know because I'm from the Windy City. Okay, yes. so I know. So, but when I went back, the damn number was gone. No number. Ghost. The, mess. the number gone. I don't know what the hell happened to the number. So the only way that you can reach them at that point is you have to email them. So I emailed them and they finally respond and they inform me that uh, my shoes are stuck somewhere in damn customs. Say what? Uh, five, it was five paragraphs talking about some customs. Now, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I don't give a shit. I give less than a shit about customs. It's a non-motherfucking factor to me. I don't give a shit about that. I don't pay for these shoes. It's day for Christmas. Y'all ain't told me my stuff ain't coming. I ain't picked out nothing else for her. Because when you pick the perfect gift, it's hard at the last minute to try to pick something else. And besides, which on Christmas Eve, what the hell is open besides Walmart? This child went with a damn Walmart <laughs> shoes? What the hell am I doing? Go get a slip or some damn cheetah print shoe and put some type of tape out logo on. What the fuck? I'm, I'm fucked. You know, so I'm thinking about this. So I say to Chris, Chris is my son for y'all, you know, uh, Mr. Pre Fuck You. That's my son. Anyway, I'm telling him the situation. So he says, well, go ahead and tell China because I'm, I'm not going to have no gift for her for Christmas because this, this was the ta da. You know, how you buy some shit and it be the ta da. This was going to be my ta da. And he's like, I'm like a ta do. It's like, it's fucked up now. <laughs> so, but anyway, they gave me this long, drawn out um, explanation this recitation, this unnecessary bullshit about customs and my shoes being stuck in customs and Pookie and them went over here and Johnny and Sally went around Rosemary's barn farm. What the fuck? I really don't care about any of that shit. I want my shoes. See, for me, I don't care what happened, when it happened, who did it, where it happened at. I want my shit. Okay? That's why I'm at with it. I don't want to hear all this. So I'm saying to them, that's all well and fine that y'all got all these issues, but those your damn issues, they ain't mad. I spent my money with my damn shoes. That's all I want with my shoes. Now, I'm going to tell you something. My G don't like to waste her damn time talking to you about my shit. That's something I really just detest doing. That kind of stuff pisses me off. So, you know, it got to the point with all these excuses and this, the time rolling on, now it's after Christmas, Christmas New Year's Eve came, mm -hmm. all this happened. They offered me a $25 gift certificate towards my next purchase. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I work hard for my money. So, uh, I'm not a person that's going to go back on your site and order another pair of nothing for a $25 gift certificate mm -hmm. when I ain't got the first shit delivered that I ordered. See, that to me is just like asinine, and that's not the act of an intelligent person. Right. Intelligent people don't do shit like that. I don't do shit like that. So, and I have to let them know, you know, y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> I ain't even order shit to get my shit. You crazy. I can't be doing that. I, I don't work that way. I can't do that. Uh, not making no sense to me. So, long story short, then they said, they finally, after me going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with them, they finally said um, that they had gotten the shoes and that the shoes would be shipped out once they arrived at their facility. The shoes just came this damn week. Now we're talking three motherfucking weeks. Red flag number one for me was don't charge overnight shipping for some shit that you don't have in your possession. That's number one. I'm a businesswoman. I ship things on a daily basis and I ship internationally so I know stuff get held up in customs sometimes up to 30 days. That's fine. But don't take nobody's money charging them overnight shipping and you can't get that shit to them the next day. Okay. Okay. And just to add to that, once she, she had to tell me that the shoes wasn't coming. So of course, you know, I was like, that's cool. Whatever. I'm thinking they might come the day after Christmas. <laughs> uh, maybe the day after that, after that. Okay. Maybe New Year's Eve. Maybe um, not at all. New Year's Day. Okay. Maybe not no. At all. So Tamar posted something on her Instagram about her shoes going on sale. And I just left the comment like, Tamar, boo, I'm still waiting on my shoes. What is taking them so long? And then I just started going through the comments and there were comments after comments after comments of people who have gone through the same thing. People who ordered their shoes before Christmas still hadn't received their packages. 
and you know everybody was just kind of sharing the same concerns i saw that most people who ordered the clothes they got their clothes but people who ordered the shoes they did not get their shoes they were offered the same 25 dollar um virtual gift card and let me ask you um that. they did not offer you to, to get a refund they offered you the 25 dollar gift certificate that's something else i questioned my response to them was how dare you tell me how to spend my coin because what you should be saying is that we can give you this 25 dollars towards your next purchase or we can issue a full refund mm -hmm. they did not do that to i called them out on it yeah. what happened next was my g actually <laughs> she went to tamar show <laughs> The shoes still hadn't came by Tamar's show by the time she came to Atlanta. Exactly we still didn't have the else. shoes. So, you know me, I was like, Maji, when you see Tamar, ask her what's going on with these shoes. Okay. So, I'm going to let Maji tell y'all what happened when she actually saw Tamar Braxton herself. Sorry. First of all, I love Mr. Tamar. That's my girl. Me too. Anyway, I will tell y'all this. Tamar was quite aware of the situation and she was not feeling it at all because just like you when she spent her coin She won her shit. Mm -hmm. So she was upset about that uh, Something that we as a people have to understand about her. She got a lot of business She got them three TV shows the Tamar Vince show. She got the Braxton family value. She's doing the real She's rolling out her line of liquor. She rolled out her collection and she's got a lot of balls up in the air So whenever you got a lot of balls up in the air some of them bound to fall when you hiring different people you can't be on top of everything because you trusting that your crew is taking care of stuff but she assured me that she had all, was already aware of it and she definitely was going to take care of it and that she hoped that i would still be a customer regardless of what happened with that that they had some hiccups and some things going on and you know how that is because you all all got relatives and some of y'all was incompetent but you know sometimes you just get people that talk a good game but they don't deliver shit that is really what happened they didn't deliver shit <laughs> They did not deliver shit. Literally. <laughs> they literally did not deliver shit. But I will say this. I am a person who is hard to please. Mm. And I am very impressed with these shoes. And I, it's hard to impress me. And uh, were they worth the wait? I have to say they were. That's the truth. They really were. I can't wait to rock my shoes. They really were worth the wait. I would say continue to support her. Now, if you have some more issues, don't write in here and tell me. <laughs> I ain't finna go present your And um, Tamar, girl, if you're watching this video, which you might see this somewhere along the lines, go on, shoot me a line, girl. Leave me a comment. Let my viewers know what's really going on with the shoe line. I think you guys got it together now from the looks of it. I don't know. I definitely will order another pair of shoes. And hopefully, I won't go through the delivery issues because I'm kind of impatient. So, um, you while you edit. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna order another pair because I actually like them. Again, they really are high quality shoes. So, okay. So, hopefully, you guys totally enjoyed this review for the Tamar Collection shoes. I definitely would recommend getting these, and hopefully, you will have a better experience with the shipping. The shoes are made really, really well. Very high quality shoes. Um, you can tell they really took their time on designing and making this shoe. They're detailed and it's just, it has a really good quality to them. So yes, I would recommend them and hopefully you have a better experience than my G did. Well, I mean, I think it's just because it's a new, it's a new company, it's a new product that they rolled out and it had some hiccups, but it's a very okay. nice shoe, very well made. Um, you could actually compare it to some of my Jimmy shoes and my Manola Vines. That the uh, workmanship is very exquisite on them. I like them. I like them too. So I give them a thumbs up. Yes, Miss Tamar, you did that. They're cute. And uh, let me know what you guys think about them. Have you, any of you out there ordered from the Tamar collection yet? Whether it be her clothes or the shoes. And if you did, comment below. What was your experience? Did anybody else experience this super long delay and then the back and forth with the emails and all of that stuff with ordering the shoes? Because again, I saw quite a few people on Instagram that have went through the same exact thing. So, you know, I'm curious to know if anybody else went through this and what are your thoughts on the shoes if you finally got yours. So, let us know. Can't wait to rock mine. Same here. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of these type of videos. We can talk about shoes probably all day, every day. We buy shoes all the time. Yeah. So, if you guys want to see us talk more about some heels, what, what can we call this? Heel talk. I, I don't know. I don't know. Shoe porn and shoe gasms. I don't know. Something along the lines of what that. What exactly is shoe porn? Shoe porn is when you see a shoe, 
a badass shoe and you just feel like oh my god it's just like a feeling like shoe porn is, oh. it's like watching porn it's like the feeling you get for somebody who watches porn. i don't watch no porn it's okay, but it's, it's, it's supposed to be it's, shit. it's like the feeling shit. you get it's like a turn on you see a shoe and it just turns you on like damn oh that's how i get more pleasure out of my shoes and i do pink that's what you mm -hmm. call shoe porn a shoe that just really turns you on when you see it okay it's bad. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of this type of video, please thumbs up. Let us know down below in the comment section and we will definitely do more like this. This was absolutely fun. Did you enjoy this? I certainly did. This is great. That was a perfect gift too. I absolutely love it. I'm you, glad you, you liked it. You picked the right gift. Yeah. She knows, she knows. Don't you wish I was your mother-in-law? Yeah. <laughs>